In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Eraser tool. And the Eraser tool is simply going to erase the pixels on the screen. And by default, uh, when I click and drag, it's going to have a nice soft edge. It's going to erase the blue and it's going to have whatever behind is going to be available. In this case, it's simply going to be the canvas because I still have my background layer locked. If I come up here to my tool properties, I can see that I can select a few different sizes and they have uh, soft edges to them or I can choose a different shape. These are all available. In addition to being able to choose a different shape, I could also adjust the size of it, the spacing and the hardness down here as well. So there are a few defaults, but I could also control how this is going to work down here as well. I don't just have to select one of these, but the larger the eraser, the more it's going to remove. Uh, I also, if I were to, to choose you know, this 50 with a hard edge, it's going to look a little bit different than the 50 with a soft edge does. I do the same thing with my square. I also have some shapes down here as well, so I can erase these shapes. I can also come down here and change the hardness of it, and what that does is it'll make a nice soft edge if I want to. And I also have this tool called Opacity. And I'm just going to choose a standard brush here. And right now the opacity is set to 100. So when I erase, it's going to erase 100% of the pixels that are behind my cursor. So if I go ahead and I change this to 50, what's going to happen is you'll notice that it's almost like it's only going to take away 50% of the pixels. So it just kind of erases them a little bit at a time. So if I don't want to erase the pixels at 100%, I can kind of smooth this out a little bit. But my eraser tool is, is pretty simple. It just simply is going to erase the pixels on the screen.